mermaids. Today, we're gonna make a mermaid. The Fiji mermaid is, of course, an old sideshow scam popularized by people like P.T. Barnum. Outside of a tent, banners and barkers would tease of the possibility of getting a look at a real mermaid conjuring thoughts of exotic naked island women. But it was a scam. And we all know that it was just a taxidermied monkey sewn onto a taxidermied fish. I made one of my own out of paper mache and odds and ends. She lives in the studio under a bell jar, staring at us <laughs> all the time. People seem to like her, so I'm making another one. This time, I'm challenging myself. She's going to be made mostly of metal. She's going to have a tough biker chick kind of vibe. Second, I'm going to use as many recycled materials as possible and zero new materials from the store. Third, I'm going to try a crazy new technique for me, metal casting using wax, blaster, and molten metal, which is going to be a little nuts. Supplies. I have some copper wire left over from other projects. This is all recycled electrical cable pulled out of old local factories like the Paps Brewery. I have some plaster left over from a dinosaur fossil projects. I've got some bottle caps. I've got a bunch of old solder left over from when plumbing wasn't all plastic. Okay, <laughs> let's see how this goes. I'll start by making a very basic pose. I want her resting on the tail fin and reaching up towards the sun. So we'll start with that simple line and give her some hips. Her top half is going to be pretty skeletal, so I'm going to add a few twists of wire to imply vertebrae. After the backbone pieces, I add some ribs and then some collarbones. With her arms on, the overall pose is really starting to take shape. Now it's time to sculpt the head. This casting technique requires the sculpt to be made out of wax. But I've never done this before, so of course I don't have the proper casting wax. In fact, the only wax I have is a candle. A really stinky candle. So my hands and the entire studio will soon have the lovely scent of a craft store urinal cake. I also discovered that candle wax isn't really the best for sculpting, but we're gonna make it work. Eventually, I have something moderately decent, so I bury it in plaster of Paris. This will become the mold that I cast my molten metal into. In this case, a bunch of melted solder. With the hole on the bottom, the plaster mold is put in the oven to melt out all the candle wax, leaving a head-shaped void for the molten metal to be poured in. Next, while keeping the plaster nice and hot, we just start melting solder into the mold. A couple of good bashes with a screwdriver, and then we crack it open to get our fresh, warm mermaid head. Now this left some broken plaster junk, so I decided to use that too, and sculpt our mermaid a little rock to be crawling up onto. Giving that rock a little black base coat. Next, we're gonna add some fins to her back and her forearms so that she can swim a little bit better. I mixed up some silver to match the solder head and my friend Jojo here helped me paint the rock. She then helped pick out some bottle caps to use for the scales on our mermaid tail. thin copper strands for her hair. I'm going to add some curly aluminum canned seaweed because I'm oh so crafty. 
Screws for her eyes? Sure, why not? And there you have her, a mostly all metal, built from leftovers, Fiji mermaid sculpture. She'll be for sale on our website along with a bunch of other fun stuff. You should check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching again.